What is going on everyone? My name's Boyt and I'm back with some more Age of Mythology, the Titans action spawning in the bottom of the map in the blue color playing as Poseidon. His name is Matrius. His opponent today in the red color playing as Ra with the fastest scroll speed available in the default settings. We have uh, Squash. Yes, he's playing Ra. He is red. And the map is Anatolia. Here we go. We've got one of the uh, one of the most specific build maps, I think, that is in this game currently. Uh, and we'll see if these guys are going to be trying something different or if they're just going to go for what I think the meta is. So, we've got Matrius. So, let's quickly... Uh, I've, every time I see this map, I feel like I should be explaining a little bit about it because I feel like... This of of all of the maps, I feel like I get Anatolia the most, uh, and that's because there's only so many things you can really do on this map. So let's talk about what makes Poseidon good on this map, and then we'll talk about what makes Ra good on this map. So what makes Poseidon good on this map is the lure. The lure is amazing. It means that we can get our fishing ships out incredibly fast here. We can see Matrius throwing down a house early. He's going to have consistent fishing ship production here, uh, and that's not really possible for Zeus or Hades on this map, because oftentimes you don't get the goats in order to do this build. Uh, and not only that... You also, uh, you also like the food, the hunt is really, really important. It helps you uh, quite a lot with your villager production here. So what we're going to see here from Matrius will be uh, something like seven villages on wood. And then he's going to go up to the top, build a second dock. And he's going to get 18 fishing ship and have like a five minute to 5.15 advance time. Squash, on the other hand, he's playing Ra. So what makes Ra good on this map, at least in the early stages of the game? So uh, we've got... We've got the docks uh, that can be built for 50 gold. This is big. This means that uh, Squash doesn't need to gather gold to get his second dock going. So generally speaking, the way forward here for Ra players is to get four villages on food. We only see three here for Squash. So he's doing something a little bit greedy, which might result in a little bit of idle time on the town center. But he is on berries. So berries are a little bit less bumpy, a little bit easier to, to manage. Uh, but still, I think you need four villages on food for the most part here, because you can see 0% does happen quite a bit. Uh, but what this is going to mean for Squash is he's going to get his fishing ships out quite fast. Having the second dock up very nice and early, very simply, easily, uh, is going to mean that Squash is going to get his 18 fish with a 5 minute to 5.15 advance here. Uh, Ra, as opposed to Set and Isis, has a very, very nice early game on Anatolia and very consistent. What Ra lacks uh, compared to Isis, not in Set, is that no prosperity means that a, a fast heroic is going to be delayed uh, ever so slightly, uh, which makes Isis just that little bit better than uh, than Ra here. So let's jump over and see what Matrius is doing right now. Matrius has actually gotten this dock up quite late here, it seems, and I think a slight mistake from Matrius. I think he should have had this one up um, quite a while ago. Uh, what what I think is that this, this villager over here, yeah, he needs to get the two docks up and he's going to spam these fishing ships out. Maybe Matrius is going for like a 430 here, which would be wild. He's going to try and get this temple up, maybe a 445, a little bit faster, and get these fishing ships going up while uh, he's advancing. But I, I do think that you want to be going up to, after you have about seven villages on wood and get that next villager to go up to the top shore, put 10 villages to 12 villages onto wood. And that's going to allow you to get that, that crisp five minute, 515 advance with all of the villages, or all the fishing ships. Thanks so much for the three months, JLo. Appreciate you, man. Lurk as you want to. Uh, and anyways, we are still, it's still going to be a five minute event. So it's not, not necessarily quicker or better. And we are going to be seeing Squash stealing some fishing spots away from Mattress. This isn't going to be the biggest of deals because he's already got the dock over here. Sometimes we see Squash trying to sneak up a, a dock on these locations here. And he can be very, very annoying like that. Uh, it's one of those things that's quite difficult to stop here with uh, with with Poseidon, with Greek, because you don't really want to get your hero out too early. I do think there is a world in which getting this temple up maybe a little bit earlier and getting your Jason over or Theseus over here just to prevent the villager from, from getting the dock up might be okay. But as we can see, Swash is using his fishing ship right here to get this one up. Now, had Matrius done the build in the way that I suggested, these two fishing spots would have been his and he would have been completely fine here. Uh, alternatively, you just 
send the fishing spots up there first and take the ones down here later. But now Mattress in a slight disadvantage here with only 13 fishing ships, maybe 14 fishing ships, whereas Squash, he's got 14 here, but he's going to keep producing these and just keep on getting further and further ahead. He is going through the tar. He's at 65% compared to Mattress, who's advanced here. So a little bit further behind, like 515 or, or 530 here for for Squash, Sentai does come out. We do see Hermes was the god of choice here for Matrius. And he is actually on 16, uh, 16 fish. So he's not actually that far behind in terms of in terms of that. Not going to be too big of a deal here. So we'll see what Matrius is going to do. Oftentimes we see uh, Poseidon players go a little bit too hard on the water, I think. I think maybe the aim here for, for Poseidon players it should be to be getting themselves per scene straight away and just playing defensive. There's no real need to win the water. You don't need to win the water. I think it's unrealistic to win the water in the classical age against Egyptian. Better is to get to that heroic age. And if you do so, choose to not go straight to the mythic age. You can go for either Skylar or Thracian horse cavalry. Very, very strong. Very tough to get your second gold mine here. Especially if you can get your hands on this town center. Let's take a look at the, the map while these guys are duking it out over here. We do have a town center here which grabs two gold mines. This is beautiful here for Squash. Uh, so so Matrius has got his Catascopos already over here checking this one out. Making sure that doesn't just go the way of Squash too easily. And now we're just seeing more of those boats coming out. Squash over here is just going to be playing defensively. He does not have Perth scene just yet. We see the armory coming up. Lots of villagers over here onto the gold mine. Only pickaxe, hand axe for Squash, which makes sense. But sometimes we do see Ra players uh, delaying cabinets just a little bit to get that shaft mine out. And we do see Squash now swapping his pharaoh over onto the mining camp. This is very, very smart. It's going to allow him to get... Uh, a little bit more gold income in order to get to the heroic age, and that's going to be really, really important here. Matrius, on the other hand, he's still putting villagers over onto wood, which I do think is a mistake. Uh, if you're putting all these villagers over to wood, it, all that means is you're going to get more archer ships out, which I don't feel like you can necessarily win uh, the water here in the classical age. I said that already, unless you might have like Ares with a Cyclops or something and you want to push through and potentially win one side of the water really fast. I, I don't think it's possible to, to really to really win this. And we are seeing Squash and, and Matrius duking it out on both sides here. Nice micro here from Matrius, but at the moment, Squash is defending with docks. And yeah, he's been pushed off like one or two fishing spots here, but it's not the biggest of deals. We are seeing Mattress still pushing forward here. And Squash, look at all that food. He's got 691 food. He's still going to be able to hit that 830 uh, heroic edge that he so uh, desperately wants to hit. As we're seeing the trireme just continuously pushing through here. And what Squash can do is stop building these cabinets and just go to the heroic age and just sack the water for a little bit and then take it back with uh, with his heroic age because that's not really much that Mattress is going to be able to do to get an advantage here. But we'll see how it's going to go. We're just waiting on that final... Uh, final 50 food. There we go. Squash gets it and he's going to be advancing. Probably go through Hathor. He can also even think about going into farms here if he so chooses because he's got that rain uh, and he's going to be completely fine here. And he's going through Hathor. Yes, Hathor is the god of choice. And let's see where Matrius is at. Matrius actually, see, look at this. He's got a thousand food in the bank. A thousand food. That is a thousand resources he's not spending on anything, which is partly why getting that tech is so very, very important. That's now the uh, trireme pushing Squash back, and Squash is just duking back and forth here. We do have a big numbers advantage here for matches. If you think about what the docks add, it's uh, three three cabinets plus two docks is basically five cabinets. And we are seeing the uh, the fight the advantage here for, for, for Matrius, but Squash is holding very, very nicely. Even though it looks like Matrius is pretty far ahead, he is looking like he's trying to get to the heroic age here after getting some damage done. And we'll see how that's going to go, but it's very, very late. It's very, very late. And does he have himself Shaft Mine here? That's the question. Shaft Mine. He doesn't have Shaft Mine, but he does have Bow Saw. That's a wild technology to be grabbing. It's a lot of resources, and now we'll see him advancing very, very soon. There's the Hathor for Squash. Um, we do see a couple of heroes and units out here. Squash is going to be looking to just chuck down. Is he getting out some baluster ships? What is he doing? He's got a lot of gold in the bank. Getting himself a second town center. Did he get himself... Uh, Shadoof, no Shadoof. We see the rock flying overhead. Going to be searching for uh, something to 
to do here and he is going to actually go straight for this town center which I don't mind is he actually doesn't realize how good this town center is because he hasn't scouted it bit of a mistake there from from squash to not scout with the the wadget but he is going to be dropping down the migdal stronghold onto this town center nice play to get here actually flew over over the cliff and maybe just dodged Matrius's line of sight just a little bit here uh, but are we seeing we are seeing Aphrodite here so Aphrodite is a bit of a Interesting pick here. It's indicating that Matrius might want to try and take this game to the late game instead of trying to win in the uh, in the middle game with Thracian horses, which is completely fine. Uh, so we'll see how that's going to go. But Migdal Stronghold up, and now Squash is simply just going to get himself a third town center. He's got he's got fourteen fishing ship currently gathering here, and he's just like, all right, I'm just going to boom. I'm I'm completely fine here. I'm completely happy with my position three town centers we do see the wadget and the patsukos now attacking matrius no no hippolyta in here but the hippolyta does come out going to be making her way over here to try and deal with this rock uh, and we're still seeing matrius is just sitting on this town center unaware that this town center is getting grabbed uh, but that being said this this gold mine here is not the safest it's not the safest it's out it is close to a town center so he can defend it but we'll see how that's going to all go here so the Nemean line going to be pushing away these camelry over here we do see the cabinets pushing forward as matrius is no longer Longer defending he does have a couple of trireme over here he does have a couple of trireme over here to defend as well we see a siege works coming up onto this location as squash might want to consider building some walls here as well as the uh, cavalry still searching around here we do have a locust that can come through nice path blocking there from squash he takes down so many villages there as matrius is in a world of pain after losing that many villages that's going to completely equalize on the economy if not put uh squash in front here as salt M4 gets researched by Squash. Matrius, on the other hand, what does he have? He's only got the uh, the purse scene. We are starting to see some units coming out. Matrius got a lot of food, a lot of gold in the bank, but Squash is now putting the foot on the pedal uh, to to get a lot of pressure done and potentially put Matrius out of this game. There's not many resources in the bank for Squash. He's currently spending everything, not building villages from this town center just yet, but right now. Matrius is realizing he's actually he actually has to get control of a gold mine here. Otherwise, he's potentially going to be getting pushed out of this game. We are seeing the Prodromus coming through. Squash realizing he is out of position here, getting pushed back. These are very, very strong cavalry units. The curse coming down onto those uh, units, getting so many. How many is that? Six Migdol units there. That's a big, big curse. But Matrius is running into the town center fire, into the Migdol stronghold fire here of squash and i don't think he can realistically fight underneath this for too long so we are seeing the pharaoh coming over here he's going to be taking down that uh those myth units very very fast nice micro from squash making sure he's going to stay out of toxodi range uh pretending like this is a, a bit of a son of osiris is a very very good move uh, but right now matrius is completely overwhelming squash as squash has only got 87 population matrius at 116 of 130 population here as now mercenary is starting to come out for squash and matrius is just completely running over squash in this location completely happy to fight underneath this migdol stronghold fire and this town center fire squash not with enough production here he does have a barracks he does have a migdol stronghold but does he have the resources he's got a decent amount of resources does he have shaft miners used to get that he does have shaft mines. So I'm surprised he doesn't have that much more gold. But he's about to run out of gold on this gold mine. He's only got 1,200 left here. Trying to get these units out. Matrius is three towns and has the juicy amount of gold mines at the top side of the map. Whereas Matrius only one gold mine grabbing this town center. So we are starting to see ooh, still building those mercenary. He needs to stop those at this point. He's very, very low on gold here. And Squash does notice that, restarts the villages. We see the Prodromus swinging around here, still trying to press in onto this gold mine. I would still love to see those walls coming up here just to make it a little bit tougher for uh, for Matrius to attack this, this gold mine here. We're now going to see those Trireme, heavy Trireme as well as he's gotten himself arrow ship cladding to come in and try and snipe some fishing ships and make life very, very difficult for Squash because Squash doesn't really want to build any of the... Uh, any of the any of the archer ships anymore he needs to build military units to catch back up and right now the trireme taking down all of these fishing ships very very nicely as matrius is all over squash in this position here we see the prodromus coming through there on the on the chariot archers don't do exactly too much damage to them but still in a still 
better than nothing, I guess. And in that, in this moment, Squash realizes, well, no gold income very, very shortly. Maybe an early surrender here slightly, but getting pushed off the off the fish so brutally, getting pushed off the gold mine, Squash with very little resources in the bank. Matrius having spent everything here to make this push work. And Matrius actually managing to make the Aphrodite uh, timing at work to a T here as Squash is not able to hold on. Matrius making the Greeks look incredibly strong on Anatolia. And it's funny, like I said, like generally speaking, the Egyptian players have had the advantage on this map since, since day one, basically. But when it comes down to it, if you don't play it the right way, you you don't actually have that advantage, uh, and I do and I do feel like like Squash played it right up until a point. I don't think this three town centers in the heroic ages is correct at all. I think that getting to the mythic ages every every bit important here, uh, and and that's and that's for for Egyptian, and that's for Poseidon, that's for Norse, that's for everyone. Getting the extra town centers slows you down so much on that tech, and that tech gives you such a big big advantage in the middle of the in the middle of the game here, just either having Son of Osiris, having Horus Spearman, um, having having a Plenty Vault, having the, the timing on your Hephaestus, having an Earthquake hit your opponent. So many brutally strong timings are available on Anatolia because of that extra fishing in economy and how safe it is. But I don't see people doing it and this is ending up with a very, very bizarre... Uh, kind of mid-game victory here for Matrius. Very well played. These guys played a couple of games, so we'll watch the other the other games they played. If you guys are enjoying these games, please consider hitting the follow on the Twitch. If you're on the YouTubes, hit that subscribe button. I'll see you guys in the next game.